Now I will show you an exercise that will make your booty toned and firm without any effort. Are you ready? So we have to twirl, slap our hands on our butt, and make a woo sound. Hi, I'm Audrey, and I apologize for that cringeworthy video you just watched. I will soon explain to you why I made it. I didn't pay much attention to my body before and liked that I was skinny. However, when I went to high school, I noticed that boys like curvy girls more. Unfortunately, I fell in love with Aiden, the captain of the school soccer team. He also liked athletic girls with toned booties, so I was way out of his league. Even worse is that they began making jokes about my body in school. Someone even scratched flat on my chair. It was the last straw, and I decided to get in shape and go to the gym. After the very first gym session, however, I realized that one has to spend a lot of time and effort to achieve the desired results. And I wanted results right away. So I got depressed and gave up working out, and I was only watching TikTok all day long, dreaming about a big booty. Hit like button if you want a fit body, but don't want to do anything for it. One day, I came across an article about a celebrity who had her butt cheeks enlarged through surgery, and it hit me. No, I'm not going to a plastic surgeon. I will put secret pockets in my pants and put cotton wool there. By evening, the pants were ready, and my booty looked terrific. I didn't want to look suspicious, so I added cotton wool gradually, piece by piece, every day. I even created a blog where I put photos with a comment my secret exercise works wonders. The reaction was short in coming. The boys started paying attention to me and the girls were whispering behind my back. It encouraged me and I began to shove more and more cotton wool. And after a month, my butt was like Kim Kardashian's. By the way, what celebrity do you think has the best booty? My blog got so popular that I got tons of requests to reveal the secret exercise. Some people even offered me money for it. I don't know what got into me. The success turned my head, and I eventually launched a program. In minutes, I came up with a ridiculous program and started selling it for $50. I became so famous that I was chosen to host the school Olympic Games. And even as a greater recognition, Aiden asked me out. I was so happy and excited. However, the date was weird and awkward because Aiden was staring at my butt the whole time, making me uncomfortable. Like I was a third wheel. So the competition day came. And when I went to the stage to announce the winners, the audience applauded. It was my finest hour. Aiden came up behind me with a torch in his hand. We were supposed to fire the Olympic flame together. Uh, I wish it was a bad dream because what happened next seemed like a nightmare. That jerk Aiden got so caught up in my ass that he tripped and fell. Fire hit my fake booty and the cotton wool immediately ignited. There was no sign of it in a couple of minutes. Fortunately, security quickly put me out. But no sooner had I recovered from the shock than the audience applause changed to laughter and yelling. <laughs> Where is her ass? Why didn't her ass get on fire? I wish she'd put sand in her pants and it wouldn't catch fire. At that moment, I wanted to fall to the ground with shame and I covered myself with the school flag and ran off stage to the crowd's mockery. I didn't go to school for a week and was seriously considering a plan to leave for another state. But I realized my laziness and desire to please others. Jokes about the incident on stage still happen, but no one makes fun of my figure anymore. I understood that nothing comes without effort, and a good figure is no exception. Let me know in the comments if you like my story. If yes, hit the like button, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any new videos.